Hi everybody. So we're starting on the flap system on this video. It's a very, it's a pretty short chapter. It's only going to be about three videos, and technically, from the looks of it, it's really only going to be two and a half videos. Apparently, I'm still painting the interior with tons of crackola all over the place. Yeah, hadn't been done with the painting yet. So again, at the end of chapter, I think it's 32. After you're done putting in the back cargo bay floors and all that, it says, you know, paint now. And I've said this thing a thousand times. Well, thanks to the French, I finally actually have enough time to get this done. So, <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm spraying over with a uh, silver primer, basically. Uh, I'm doing everything except for the firewall. I do not want any paint on the firewall. God forbid if there is a fire... I don't want to compound melting paint fumes uh, as something else that I have to breathe in. So I'm just leaving it off the firewall. Plus, you're never going to see it. You aren't. You just simply aren't going to see it uh, unless you just happen to be tiny and fall off the front of the seat. So any two-year-old children that ride with me uh, that forget to put their seatbelt on, because I'm not putting it on for them, uh, they go tumbling forward, they'll see the firewall. So, uh, like I said, I'm just doing a prime real quick. Um... After this, I use just a plain gloss enamel, right? So I'm just, we're just using a gloss, and it's charcoal gray. Uh, I don't think... I think I do have some video of it, but it'll be next time, maybe. This is one of those weird things where, you know, you, you paint, and then you have to wait like a day. Because I'm using all enamel, right? Enamel uh, primer and paint. Uh, I want a hard coating on everything. But it takes, you know two to three days for it to properly set up and cure. There I am staring at my handiwork. Uh, and then you got to go back and you got to sand down any high spots or if you accidentally have any orange peeling or you put on too much and it's drooping, right? And then you, so you got, you got to sand that off and then you've got to go back uh, and then you got to clean that off. Then you need to clean that off with a, you know, like rubbing alcohol, which is why it needs to be cured because it won't, you know, it'll just rub off if it's not cured. And then once that's done, then you can put on a second coat, etc. Anyway, here's the actual work on the flap system. So what you're looking at there, the two flap sides and the s center, that's pretty much it. That and the flap motor is your entire flap system. Okay? Obviously, except for the actual flaps on the wings. So anyone that... Uh, watched me build the wings might recognize that little blue uh, piece of aluminum uh, that I've got attached to one of the sides of the flaps. That is a guide piece uh, that Vans has engineered and they use it for helping uh, you know align the ailerons with the wing and, and, and all kinds of other stuff and this just is another one of those tools that uh, they've designed into it. So you lay it flat on the table uh, the flap arm will then mount straight into one of the holes with a couple of uh, with a bolt and some washers, and then you can match drill the center and clico it together, and it's and it's great. The only so all you really have to do is put that on, make sure it's square, make sure the bolt goes through the guide and the flap arm. Uh, you have to you have to you have to shimmy it. I say shimmy. You kind of have to minorly adjust it so it's just the right length, which you can see me doing there, which was 23 and 5 sixteenths inches. And then with that in place, you are free to drill the hole in the center. Once both of these are attached, uh, we're going to we're going to grease them up and we're going to shove them into the plane. So in the next video, we do just that. We uh, grease. I bolt everything together and we shove it into a plane. And I think Ted's out here to help me. So. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon.